Hey guys, good morning. I'm at Walmart. I'm looking for the sale meat. They have some trout on pretty good steelhead trout. I don't think I've ever had that though. $8.59 down from $16.38. Not a bad deal at all. But I don't know. I don't want to buy something that I don't know that my family will eat. So I'm just looking to see if they have any meat that's on sale. Ooh, some ground beef. Wow, okay, that's a huge thing in ground beef. That's mainly what I'm looking for. Nin's kind of out there looking for her own stuff. I'm just checking to see if they have any of the... Doesn't look like it. Extra lean ground beef on sale. Because if there was, I was going to pick some up. Because I told you guys yesterday we don't have very much at home. So it looks like all they have is the regular ground beef. And I need extra lean. It was a very quick trip to Walmart. Nin only needed a few things, but she can't drive yet. So I took her there. And now we're back having a snack. Huh? It's a little after, no, it's 11.30. I was thinking it was almost 12. 11.30, I'm waiting for my coupon lady to get back home <laughs> so that I can go pick up some coupons from her. This is actually a new coupon lady that lives closer. So I'm gonna go pick up some coupons from her and then um, I have a bunch of leftovers, like the fridge. I mean, the fridge is looking pretty good, but we have leftovers. Some chicken from the other day that's pretty much gone. A couple of things of corn. We'll probably finish up that if we do like chicken subs. Then I have a bunch of meatballs because Andres did the other Friday when we did. Actually, I'm wondering if that chicken's still good now that I think about it. Anyway, I didn't do a meal plan for the week and I haven't gone grocery shopping. So I kind of wanted to try and eat up what we have. I don't really need to go grocery shopping. Like we still have milk, we still have eggs. I think we're almost out of bread, but that's not a huge deal. So I'm going to go to either, and I was just at Walmart and I didn't even think about it. And the rest even text me and I didn't see the text message. I don't know why. I don't know if I was still driving. Maybe it didn't beep. I don't know, but he texted me and was like, and we were thinking the exact same thing. I, w I was thinking, man, instead of spaghetti, we just had spaghetti Friday. Why don't we do like meatball subs or something? And he texted me and asked me to pick up French bread or like hoagie sandwiches or something. Totally, I didn't get the text message. So I'm gonna end up going back to the store, Walmart or something and just pick up. I may end up stopping at Dollar Tree after I get the coupons to do my DT Monday. <laughs> uh, if they have hoagies, I may pick up hoagies there and then we'll have meatball subs for dinner tonight. And I'll probably pick up some salad if I'm somewhere that has salad. If not, I don't know what, we may just have subs. I don't know, with some chips or something. Or maybe just subs. <laughs> so, Autumn's having a little snack. I'm having some grapes and some leftover white rice and soup that my aunt gave me. And yeah, then we're just kind of waiting around for her to be home. We'll go run some more errands. Okay, so I just picked up my coupons. Pretty good deal. I even got the physician's formula, which will be great as stocking stuffers, Christmas gifts, things like that. Um, and then I got a bunch more coupons. The only problem with buying, like this place that I went to, which I get a lot of questions on where I even find these people, Facebook groups. There's like literally Facebook groups of people that sell coupons and they get them from who knows where. They're probably not legal <laughs> because I don't even know where they came from, they come from. But I can't see myself paying four dollars for one newspaper when I spent nine dollars on 20 inserts plus the uh, physician's formula coupons, which we did not get here in Texas. So, yeah, Facebook like type in the search box coupon clipped coupons in your state, and people sell them, they'll even ship them to you if you want them to. So yeah, I just got to picking that stuff up and I am headed to, I think it's it's 1.39 and Autumn's sleeping. So I think I'm gonna go sit in a CVS parking lot. There were a few more deals that I wanted to get that I did not get last night. And like I told you guys yesterday, I'm kind of, I kind of have things in my mind to put together for, um, what did I call them? Like gift bags or like a little care package, I guess you could say. There's a Walgreens, I don't even know if I wanna to go to Walgreens. 
I'm just not, I was not a huge fan. The speed stick deal was easy for me to get last week and I just couldn't do it. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna stop at Walgreens. But she's sleeping and I don't really wanna wake her up and we still have an hour and 20 minutes before we have to get Emmy. And I don't really wanna get out of the car either. Like since we stopped and had lunch and we came back out, Maddie has a dance class. So I wanna go get Emmy from school once I get all this done. Go get Emmy from school and run home, have her pick up a snack, get Maddie's ballet outfit, and then head out. And I'm thinking about going to Dollar Tree. I told you guys I had to push Emmy's party back to the 12th, but it's gonna be here before you know it. And I still need to get her invitations done. I wanna start getting her party bags done, which is gonna be the biggest thing. Like, because we're doing her party, a private party, so we're renting out the whole skating ring, it's not gonna be, they literally only let you show up 10 minutes before the party is at 11.30. You only get to show up at like 11.15 or 11.20. So it's not a lot of time to decorate and you can absolutely bring no food or drink from the outside in. So kind of ruined some of the things I was thinking about. So I mainly want to focus on getting her a banner. And I'm so mad. I was at Walmart today. I totally could have got this stuff. I want to make her a banner, a Moana themed banner. And then um, I want to do her goodie bags Moana themed, but I need to pick up card stock because I ran out for Maddie's party. And then I'm going to do balloons, uh, some tablecloths, the plates, napkins, forks. Not They don't let you bring cups, but plates, napkins, forks, and the cake. And I need to find out if she wants cupcakes. If she wants cupcakes, I'll do the little cupcake toppers Moana. If she doesn't, just her, I'll get a huge cake with um, Moana themed. Other than that, there's not much else to do. <laughs> um, because there's, I mean, the party's so short. Like, it was just so different having it at home. So, yeah, a lot of it's going to be store-bought stuff Moana themed but I do want to make sure I make a banner because I I love the way Maddie's came out although we did have a store-bought trolls banner for her but the ones that I did make for the hug time and the picture bracelets and stuff um no not the picture bracelets the hug time bracelets the picture time fun I thought those came out really cute so I want to go ahead and continue that banner making theme and then I found a couple really cute ideas on Pinterest for the goodie bags and since we're not doing a pinata or anything it's just goodie bags I'm just going to decorate them and then put some Moana type stuff with candy in them but she's gonna have a lot more kids at her party or at least I'm hoping like the people that she's inviting come because that was a whole point of a private party she's gonna have a lot more kids if everyone shows up so I'm trying to get the stuff that I need ahead of time so that way in case like Dollar Tree is out of something or whatever the case may be I have plenty of time to go to another Dollar Tree and things like that so that's what my plan is I'm gonna kind of she's been sleeping for like 30 minutes so I'm gonna sit in a CVS parking lot flip some of my coupons and wait for her to wake up <laughs> That's what the plan is right now. And then I told you guys about dinner, so I still need to find some hoagie rolls. And if I end up going to a Walmart or an HEB or something, salad. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't pick that stuff up when I was at Walmart this morning with Nin. What are you gonna do? Okay, I'm home and totally messed up at CVS. I ended up paying way more than I should have out of pocket, so. I'll have to go back and return some stuff at some point because I don't need it that bad. My whole point of doing it, I was trying to get some summer, summer's eves, the feminine, feminine, oh my gosh, feminine, feminine wipes. <laughs> that sounds weird. I don't know why. The feminine wipes that, that, is that how you say it? Feminine. Yeah. Feminine. Oh my gosh. I'm losing it. Anyway, those, because they're packaged individually. And I thought that would be great to give in the care packages because that's something that could travel pretty easily. You can go to any public bathroom and clean up if you want to. So I was trying to get those and it ended up being like, I don't even know. I don't know what happened. So I have a couple things to return to CVS because it just wasn't as good of a deal as I thought. 
we're stopping at home for snacks. That's all we've done today is stop at home for snacks. I got Emmy from school. Andres is headed home with Maddie. I'm gonna get her a snack and then we're going to go to probably head out here so I can stop by Walmart or I don't know, a corner store or something on the way to get the hoagies for the buns because by the time we get out, it's 5.30 and it'll be nice to just come home and be able to eat. That's all I pretty much got done today. The days go by so freaking quick. So quick. Like, Autumn's just tossing her Cheerios all over the floor. No. No. Thank you. She's laughing. She thinks it's funny. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I was telling my aunt earlier, I feel like when you're working, you know, you have, you're at work, or even when I'm at work, my days drag. They go so slow. But when I'm at home, they like... <laughs> go like that. I don't have enough time to get everything done. There's just not enough time in the day. But when you're at work, there's all the time in the day because the day does not move as quickly as you want it to. Am I the only one that feels like that? When you need to get things done, the day just fly by, flies by. When you want the days to go by quick because you're stuck doing something boring, it doesn't go by quick. So I'm already exhausted for the day and I haven't even really done that much. I did a couple loads of laundry. One's sitting right there, one's in the washer. We'll see how long it takes me to fold it. Back at CVS. I, I returned that physician's formula, it just wasn't cutting it for me. Emmy's pushing my getaway cart. We're getting candy for her party. And they have a really amazing deal that I'm stacking a bunch of coupons with, so I'm pretty excited. And then, we need to get buns. That was a whole thing, because I didn't go anywhere to get buns today except Walmart and I totally forgot. So I'm a bad, bad mommy, bad. <laughs> Maddie had a lot of fun at her, oh, that scared me. Maddie had a lot of fun at her class. Um, Emmy had fun in the play place. Autumn came up running to me and she's like, ah, mommy, all excited. So that was pretty cool. Okay, I'm reheating the uh, meatballs. And I actually, we have a lot of sauce left over. I'll probably finish up all the meatballs tonight, but we have a lot of sauce left over. So I was telling Andres, I'll um, save the sauce and I'm gonna do chicken parmesan tomorrow night for dinner. I don't, I can't foresee myself going grocery shopping tomorrow. I think we have milk. Mommy. Yeah, we have milk for a, a couple of days. So I probably won't go grocery shopping until Wednesday. Oh, no, Mommy, I'll take that, please. Thank you. I actually found some Allegro. I remember yesterday I was like, oh, we don't have anything that's non-drowsy. I found non-drowsy. Oh, it's not focusing. Non-drowsy Allegro. So, well, actually, Andres found it for me. But, yeah, I have panko chicken in the freezer, a bag and a half of it, so I'll cook up probably that half bag. I have the sauce to go on top of the chicken. I have plenty of mozzarella cheese. Well, that actually, this is my last bag of it, but I mean, that's plenty. I'm using some today for the meatball subs, and I'll have plenty tomorrow for chicken parmesan. And then I will boil up some pasta and either do, I have some basil pesto in the fridge, so if I don't have enough sauce for the pasta as well, just the chicken, then I'll use um, basil pesto. So I think that's a wonderful idea for dinner tonight, and that'll use up all our leftovers pretty nicely. And look at all the candy that I got today. Very, very, very awesome deal. Run out to CVS if you have not. You need candy for either birthday parties or for Halloween. Definitely recommend this. They're buy one, get one free. $4.99. I had a CVS CRT for three off of three, and I had a manufacturer coupon for two off of three. So I spent about $30 on all of this. I got nine bags of um, the fun size actual candy bars. And then I got two, no, I got 10 bags, sorry. I had to, I remembered I picked up one at last minute. 10 bags of the fun size candy, two bags of Skittles, and five of these. These were on promo, spend 15, get $5 in extra care bucks. So I spent right around $30 and I got $5 back in extra care bucks. And these are the Reese's miniatures. And then also the Hershey's miniatures. So that is plenty, plenty of candy for Halloween. And then there should be plenty for Emmy's party. 
because my mom bought these two big old bags for Halloween. The Twister Roll bag. And yeah, on the best, open that. <laughs> Nerds, Butterfinger. So there should be plenty of candy. We usually get between two and 250, like 200 to 250 kids here in the neighborhood. So it should be plenty of candy for Halloween. And then I'm hoping to have enough left over for Emmy's goodie bags for her party. There are our meatball subs <laughs> uh, on hot dog buns because once again, I stink at life and didn't pick up, I went to CVS and they didn't have subs, they had hot dog buns. So, girls don't seem to mind too much. Is it good? Really good. See? Good. <laughs> Okay, this is what my project was. <laughs> I buried all your chocolate, baby. What, Sorry. What do you want? A chocolate? <laughs> got it. Is that I got, guys? Uh, Maddie picked a uh, dots. Dots. Maddie picked a Kit Kat and show me what you picked, baby. Pull it out. Picked a lollipop with gum inside. Blow pop. So, this is all the candy we have. That was there was those two bags of candy that my mom got, plus all the chocolate that we bought today. Full. Oh, have a you're welcome, baby. Um, this, you're welcome, baby. This big old thing of chips that I have just kept, we bought a long, long time ago, and I've kept the container, and whenever I buy individual chips, I just refill this. I really wanted something to be able to mix the candy. Well, it got too full, and I really can't mix the candy, but I started to mix it underneath all of this. So we'll take this out for Halloween. Pass out all the candy, which I think will be plenty, plenty of candy. And then whatever is left, I'll stuff in bags. And I'm really hoping I don't have to buy any extra. I'm really, here's hoping. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to sit here. We'll see how much of it gets eaten. <laughs> that's why I buried the chocolate. Because he was like, oh, you bought all those bags of Snickers. Uh-huh. Caught in the act, my Henny Benny. What? Caught in the act. What? What? <laughs> We're trying to figure out what to do with Autumn's room as far as hanging things because her room, I, I just said it was oddly shaped. It's not oddly shaped, it's a rectangle, but it is a lot of wall space. And I feel like neither one of the other girls have a lot of wall space like she does. So, I don't know, I think that no. looks strange there. <laughs> I don't know. Can I see you tomorrow? Can I see you tomorrow? <laughs> that was funny. Autumn, you're wailing in there because you didn't get to say goodnight. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I keep trying to turn on my light. And okay, now it's not doing anything. It was fluttering. I don't. Oh, see what the heck? Well, like, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. My the fan's working fine. I don't know if a bulb went out. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what to do while Andres is asleep. I'm not an electrician. Okay, fan. Or light. Figure it out. Figure this. I don't, I also don't want to electrocute myself. Continuing to mess with it. What the heck? Okay, I guess. Because <laughs> from one extreme to the other, I guess uh, something's wrong with the light. I'm going to have to mess with it tomorrow or have my dress check it. Man, that's bright. So, I'm about to head to bed. It's a little after 11. And I'm going to try and go to sleep now so I can wake up. Andres works early tomorrow. He kind of has like a split day. So I'm going to try. I don't really have. Oh, dang it. I'm going to have to wash this shirt. I thought I went the whole day without stains. And if you're wondering, this shirt was from Walmart last year. And I, I don't know if I got it on clearance. I'd have to go back and look at my hauls. I may have got it on clearance from Walmart. And then because it still had the tags. Like I never wore it last year. So, that's what I'm thinking. You guys probably know better than I do, <laughs> which is really sad. Especially since I live my life and I can't remember some things as good as you guys can. <laughs> but anyway, um, what was I saying? Tomorrow, what? I have to go to the post office. Number one priority, post office. And I'm probably going to have to go back. No, I am going to have to go back to Walmart because... I need to get the girls costumes <laughs> and I know what Maddie and Emmy want to be. I have no idea what to get for Autumn. So I need to get the girls costumes because we have a Girl Scout event on Thursday and it requires, not requires, but it costumes are there. So I need it between tomorrow and Wednesday. I need to figure that out. And then what else? I need to get card stock. Melissa, make yourself a mental note. <laughs> Look back on this tomorrow if you can't remember all this. Post office, costumes, card stock. I have everything for dinner. I don't need to coupon anymore. Although I did want to stop at CVS because I returned, I told you, returned that physician's formula and I gave back the extra care buck. So I want to go back and get the deal again. I think there was one deal that I forgot to get, but it's not the end of the world. I have so much stuff and I want to go to Dollar Tree. So, I will have Maddie tomorrow with me though. It's a lot harder to run errands with her because Autumn just, you give her a snack and some juice and she's cool. Maddie, a little harder to entertain for long periods of time jumping from store to store. So, I don't know. We'll kind of have to see how that goes. But I'm going to call it a night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.